If you vote in person this year, you may see people wandering around the polling place just observing. They're called poll watchers, and they have to wear a special ID so you know who they are. Political parties and candidates appoint these people to ensure the election is fair. If they choose, poll watchers can see almost the entire voting process, including machine setup and ballot counting. They're required to train with the Secretary of State's office so they know what's legal, what's not, and how to behave themselves. They cannot be at a voting station while someone is casting their ballot. They must turn off their phones or any other devices that can record audio or video, and they cannot talk to voters. They shouldn't talk to poll workers either unless they're calling attention to a potential problem. You'll never see more than two poll watchers at a time at your voting site. Candidates and elected officials are not allowed to do this job, though their relatives can. Know that the election judge on site can remove poll watchers if they see them break these rules. For more election information, visit WFAA.com vote. I'm Matt Houston. Our election day coverage starts at 9 a.m. on WFAA Plus and we'll air a results show just before the polls close at 645. Our streaming app gives us a lot more time to bring you the kind of insightful coverage you're not going to find anywhere else. You can download WFAA Plus to your smart TV through Roku, Amazon Fire or Apple TV.